Well, all across New Mexico, there is inspiration for creating art, whether it's through music, food, paintings, and carvings, and so much more. Now, those last two examples will be on display at this weekend's Winter Spanish Market. And News 13's David Romero has a preview. It's art that has been created for hundreds of years right here in New Mexico. The same innovation that went into making it from the beginning carries on today. In the early days when the missions were being built, there was difficulty getting statues and um, those types of religious artifacts for, 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 for the missions, and so this art kind of evolved. Creating this type of artwork dates back literally hundreds of years and is pretty much only found in this part of the country right here in New Mexico. It's all going to be showcased at this weekend's Spanish market. Well, first of all, I think this kind of art uh, needs more exposure uh, for people to know that uh, native people in this country, in, in here in, that, in New Mexico, can create this kind of work, it's just such as the retablos, the bultos, the straw applique, tin work. There's a lot of it. It's uh, the various forms of art that uh, we do, and I hope they enjoy it. Well, it may be an art form that was created hundreds of years ago. It's still evolving. So I learned a new innovative te technique which allowed me to combine essentially all the elements of traditional art uh, and then finalized by using straw applique for design. For some, they discovered they had the gift while completing other works of art. I wasn't really a santero, I was more of a furniture maker, but uh, I got encouraged by them to, to start doing this. I've been carving most of my life, so that came in pretty handy. Then. There's the next generation carrying on the tradition. I was just interested in um, seeing how it was done, but it, I, it, it's also a spiritual thing for me. I think that um, my, spiritual, my spirituality personally a lot of times manifests through art. Um, and I really enjoy seeing how these santos come out of the material, out of the wood. And there's only one place you can discover all this talent. It's just the highest quality you'll find anywhere in the state or in the southwest. Right here in New Mexico. David Romero, KRQE News 13. Organizers say this weekend's Spanish market will feature the works of more than 100 artists, the young and old. We have information on times and prices at our website, krqe.com.